how do you go to the bathroom in zero G? Hey, Ray J, what's going on? And of course, the answer I always give is very carefully. Well, I'm in the WCS. What is the WCS? Well, that's the, uh, the potty, the oh, space potty. The space potty, yes. So everything in space seems more difficult than it is on Earth. I bet the bathroom's no different. It's no different. Well, hygiene is very, very important in space. You want to keep the spaceship nice and clean. You want to keep everybody healthy. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing when you go to the toilet. This is our toilet seat. And this is uh, our urinal hose. And this uh, allows us to learn how to use the toilet in space and to even practice using the toilet. This is an actual working toilet. What's happening is a vacuum going on inside of there, and it's evacuating the air and, and setting up a vacuum inside of there. The hose is flexible, but it needs to be pretty snug to its customer in order to suck away the liquid waste to a separate tank. Suction is the key, it sounds like. Suction is very, very important, making sure that the material gets taken away and into the commode and doesn't create a problem in the cabin. So one thing that helps us is our checklist. Why don't you uh, read off these items here, and if it says a check, just tell me check. Check fan sep, same as hose block. Hose block says sep one, so I'm going to put the fan sep to uh, sep one. Check mode auto. Mode is auto. Check cradle auto. Cradle is auto. Unstow hose and install urinal funnel. OK, so this is our hose. These are our urinal funnels. We have two types. This is for little girls. This is for little boys. We don't share these things. You use your own, you stick to your own. We've got to install the funnel on the hose. Got it. What's next? Urinate. Urinate. <laughs> so to recap, that's three switches, two different gender funnels, and finally, number one is a go. Seems pretty oh, complicated. Oh. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. That was only number one. Uh-oh. Number two is even more complicated and uh, a little intimidating. So in order to be prepared, we have a special trainer right behind you to help you get the right position on this toilet seat. This is one of the deepest, starkest secrets of NASA. And no one knows about this stuff. Look down the hole. Wow, just a yeah. camera. There is a camera, <laughs> and there is a TV over here. This is for alignment practice. This is targeting practice only. And the hole that you're aiming for on that toilet is much smaller than what we're used to. Because the hole at the bottom is so small, you have to be in the right spot. If you miss, you might end up with an escapee floating in the cabin. For this exercise, we're going to do a, somewhat of a simulation. And we're going to simulate uh, a part of you with this little uh, smiley face circle that you see right here. So I will now turn my back. And you can, of course, keep the camera rolling on him. But I'm going to turn my back. And you can put that where you think it belongs. Did you put it there yet? Yep. All right, feel the yeah, body yeah. position, got it, got but it. make it so everything's... Are you in a rush to get off of that thing? You don't like it on that, do you? People are knocking on the door, you know? Go down the hall. You want to try to align that target in the right spot. I'm not sure this is a view I really want to see of, of myself, right. but, uh, you know, to be an astronaut, to survive space, you got you to do this kind of stuff. Yes, there's a price you have to pay to get to space and survive, and you're paying it right now. <laughs> Sitting down correctly also creates an airtight seal, allowing suction to take your deposit through a tube at the bottom up to a small bag that's then put into the trash. All right, I'm strapped in, lined up. Uh, I guess I know what comes next. Time to concentrate. 